Hi, hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Why do I do that? It's weird. It's so weird. Anyway, today is a uh, recent read uh, kind of a deal. And um, I have two books. Two books with the same kind of vibe. I don't know. It's the general context of it is the same. So both romance books, both Christmas books, both have the Groundhog Day thing. So if you don't know what the Groundhog Day thing is, it's basically when a situation usually negative or monotonous uh, is relived over and over again. Um, or in this case, uh, the same day is repeated over and over again. Um, yeah. Just watch the Groundhog Day movie and you'll get the gist of it. Um, it's, it's a concept that is used a lot in uh, TV series, movies, books. I mean, I have two of them here. Two books I enjoyed both of. So Christmas, Groundhog Day, Romance, Vibes. Let's start with Inner Holidays by Christina Lauren. Now, this is my first Christina Lauren book. So I have no basis on what else Christina Lauren writes. Christina and Lauren, they're two people. Yeah, the synopsis. It is the most wonderful time of the year, but not for Malin Jones. She's living with her parents, hates her nowhere going job, and has just made a romantic error with epic proportions. But perhaps most of all, this is the last Christmas May will spend at her favorite place in the entire world. The snowy Utah cabin where she and her parents have spent every Christmas since she was born, along with two other families. Mentally melting down when she drives away from the cabin that one last time, May throws out a what she thinks is a simple plea to the universe. Please show me what makes me happy. The next thing she knows, tires screech and metal collides and everything goes black. But when May awakes, she is on that same plane on her way to Utah, where she begins the same holiday over and over again, with one disaster after another sending her right back to that plane, May must figure out what it is that keeps her in this time loop. I just noticed there are like black bulbs, like with red and yellow and like one blue, there are like three black bulbs. Three blue ones. Why? <laughs> so, very simply, I enjoy this book. However, there were a lot of people to keep track of in the beginning, and um, I kind of got the gist that they were different families, but they also kind of seemed like they were married into each other in one way, shape, or form. Um, and the uh, it, well, how can I say it? There's so many people to keep track of that uh, I did not know who was who for the longest time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, um, what's his name? So May has this, it doesn't say. So May has the love interest and uh, I mean, she's been in love with him since she was 13. She's now 26. And for the longest time, I thought their parents had like married each other and they were like stepbrother, stepsister. And I was like, why is this happening? Um, they're not. Um, so I could have used a bit of a better explanation about all the families and uh, why all these families were like spending Christmas together. It comes much later on. Basically, um, the the old adults, let's call them that, um, they went to college and uh, they've been friends ever since. 
that's basically it. And then the adults, which is like the ones we're following, May and the whatnots, um, they are just the prodigies. But then there are little kitty kitties. And I'm like, who, who are these kitties? Kids, <laughs> not cats. Um, and how do they like get into the the whole thing of it? Um, th there's there's more characters in this than strictly necessary, but still a good time. Um, I enjoyed how I mean we're reliving the same day over and over again, and when we do that in the beginning of the story, as it were, we need to have like the same kind of plot. Um, over and over again, like three times or so. That's like the fair amount, I would say. But that can also tend to be, you know, uh, boring because it's the same thing over and over again. And for the story as it holds, for us to like continue wanting to continue on with the book, we need new things to happen. And I do think new things happen. I really enjoyed this book, and also it has a very cute ending. So you know, cute holiday rom-com, basically. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I enjoyed it. So, the next one is The Christmas Wish by Lindsay Kelk. Now, this is a reread for me. Um, it's, uh, I, I read the hardback version. I read this version last year, the hardback version, and it came out in paperback, so you know, had to get it, didn't I? I mean, I didn't have to, but I did have to. Yeah. <laughs> the synopsis of this one. Newly single lawyer Gwen Baker is hoping that a family Christmas will solve the sting of her career hanging by a thread and her heart being trampled on. Because Everyone has their life sorted, except for her. So she can't help but to wish that her future was a lot clearer. She wakes up to find out that it's Christmas Day all over again. <laughs> like Groundhog Day, but with eggnog. And family arguments on repeat. So, once again, Christmas, Groundhog Day concept, rom-com theme um you, you see where i get the like the theme of this video yes <laughs> so <laughs> i love lindsay kelk it is no secret i rave about lindsay kelk whenever i get the chance which is mostly when i've finished one of her books or i find a reason to talk about her books like now so in this one i get that annoying Groundhog Day feel a lot sooner than I did with Inner Holidays. However, it's, it isn't bad. It isn't an, in a bad way. Uh, it's just what has to be done, really, um, for, for this whole Groundhog Day thingy. Now, this one is a lot funnier than in a holidays but that may be because of Lindsay Kelk herself just being a very funny human I mean I don't know Christina Lauren uh like so like I said I haven't read any of their previous books or books that come out that has come out after I haven't read any Christina Lauren books Let's just leave it at that. Uh, but I have read a lot of Lindsay Kelk. So I ha I feel like I have a lot more feel for the Lindsay Kelk wit, as it were. I'm sure Christina Lauren has wit too. I just can't compare it to uh, any of their other books because I haven't read them yet. Both of these books, you get the holiday, Christmas, rom-com vibes with the added bonus that it's a Groundhog Day thing and they're doing it the same day all over again and again and again and again and again. Both of these are not the annoying Groundhog Day feels. I don't want to say. They, they have some of it because that's just what the Groundhog Day thing is. I'm just repeating myself now, I feel. But 
yes I highly recommend both of these they are both short and easy reads I don't think they're very long I think they're like 300 pages yeah yeah both are like just over 300 pages so fast easy read funny good time lots of laugh um christmas joy love some some sexy time what else could you want what else could you want pick up both but if you just want to have to pick one pick this one but pick this one too yes pick both read them both uh and if you have read any of them or both of them do let me know what your thoughts are on them, over them, for them. I don't know. Let's have a little conversation, shall we? Why am I so weirdly aggressive sometimes? I don't know. Uh, <coughs> coughing. I'm dying. No, I'm not dying. Um, yeah. This has been a chaotic video as per usual when it comes to me. Um, hopefully it was semi-coherent. Yeah, probably not, but also, there you go. Two great books. There's your recommendations. Go read them and tell me about what you thought of them. Can I speak? No, I can't. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time. Until then, take care. Oh, bye-bye.